Well, hello everybody, and welcome to my walkthrough of Fallout 3. I know I'm doing Skyrim 2, but I always want to do a walkthrough of Fallout 3. And I've never been in Fallout 3 compared to Skyrim, so this is going to be so, so great. I can't wait to journey out into the wilderness right here. So how are everyone doing today? We're just going to start, let's see, let's check the settings before we head in. Let me see if all the subtitles are on. Yes, there are on. And I'm playing on the PC, so I have some mods on here as well. So let's start this. I was wondering in the beginning where you popping out your mom's wound. You can hear the heartbeat. <laughs> I like how you can see how beautiful that woman is before you go black out. Are you a boy or a girl? Hey, I'm a girl, hey! It's a girl? A girl! We've got a daughter, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby girl. Oh. Oh, James. We did it. Oh, daughter. Oh, our beautiful daughter. You've got a bright future ahead of you, sweetie. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, sweetheart. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... Holy crap, what the hell she got a name her? <laughs> oh, crap. Car Aisha. There, let's call her Aisha. That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Okay, guys, I'm gonna skip this because this is gonna take a very long time because I want my girl to be perfect. So let me show you the, see I got this, got the advanced, advanced American, African, African American, Asian. Yes, you can see they have makeup for them. Beautiful. They look scary because their eyes are gone. Look at that. The eyes are just like gone. Okay. I really like the makeup on them. And Hispanic. Hispanic don't look, what the heck? That looks pretty good. Okay, guys. After I get done making my girl, I will get right back to you guys. Okay, guys. This is her. <laughs> I gotta make her hair darker blue or something. I don't know. The shine to the to the hair kind of messes up the hairstyle. So I didn't like half of them. Good thing we can switch her hairstyles throughout the course of the game. So let's start this up. Yeah. You sure? Yes. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, beautiful. Just like her daddy. <laughs> it's a big world out there, honey, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? You're just James? A... Catherine? James? Catherine? She's in James. cardiac arrest. Start compression. James. Get the baby out of here. Move, move. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. <laughs> okay, you one minute. We need a doctor, not a dead man. This one's on the house. Fail to meet my expectations now and there will be no James and his cheery chatter. Don't look straight into the light of the native or hurt your eyes. It's just like something you could use to down here. I bet. Come on over here, sweetie. Come on. Walk to daddy. Yeah, I'm trying to get used to the controls right quick. I'm using the. You can make it. Okay. Over here. Hey, Dad. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. 
You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, honey. I'll be back in a bit. Yeah, but what's the point of putting me in this pen, though? That's what I never understand. He shuts the door right after him. Like, we're smart enough to open this stupid door. We can close it, too, you know. See, let's exit the pad plan. It's a jump on chair. The jump on the chair. It's gonna read the special book. You're special. Okay, guys, here come the mod that I've been waiting for. <laughs> Look, it's the female vault dweller. Oh, strength is for strength. I mean, this is for strength, and that means I'm strong. I can carry more toys and swing stuff all day long. P is for crap. Procrastination. Pur 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 damn it! Damn it! <laughs> A long, funny word. It means what I tasted, smelled, and saw and heard. E is for endurance. That show. That's how I. Uh, that's how long I can play. I'm always ready. I already. I'm always health. Really healthy and have energy all day long. Oh my God! It, the picture looks so crazy. <laughs> C is charisma. It's why people think I'm great. I make my friends all laugh and smile and never want to want to hate. I is an intelligence. It means I'm really smart. I use my brain for lots of stuff like science, math, and art. A is for agility. That, that's how I get around. I move real fast and easy, and I never make a sound. Luck is for, oh, I mean, L is for luck. It is simple, and it's simple, you see. It means that good things always happen to me. Okay, I've been thinking about, a lot about this when I was getting ready for this Let's Play. I mean, walkthrough. I was going to take away for strength. Put more into agility. Endurance, some luck, a little bit in charisma, six and that, and then like I think agility will go up. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I like to sneak. I'm a sneak person, so here's my strengths and weaknesses here. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Endurance is how long. Charisma. So I said we can always. Uh, uh, I could take that away. I can always bring it up, I bet. Yeah. So I can get an intelligence. Nah. There, we're done. It's funny you can't see your own self. Hey, Dad. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer. Yes, you? I am. Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Mm -hmm. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. All right. Looks like he doesn't hold me or grab my hand or anything while we're walking out here. These experiments Don't be a damn fool. The experiment to prepare. Prepare. Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? She is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, honey. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only Congratulations, your mother... Congratulations, young lady. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well... You're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip Boy 3000. Get used to it. Yay! You will be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Thanks, Dad. Only you can prevent fatal work-related injuries. 
Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What? Is she your best friend now? Hey, Wally, I- Oh, damn. Okay, even the pit boy, the female, is taking over. Look at that. That's amazing. We just got love the modders. Look at that, the pictures. Oh my gosh. You know, brakes were neutral. Didn't visit any places yet. Let's get the jumpsuit. That's all we have. Yeah, Paul. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. How dare you, girl? That's not right. Great party, girl. Thanks for doing this for me. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. I really have no idea. Ha! I knew I'd surprise you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. And with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday! Thank you. Oh, why don't you introduce us to your new girl? I do not allow the fact that Amata is my daughter to compromise my position as overseer. I gave her all the appropriate paternal encouragement, of course, but I could not contribute extra vault resources. That is simply what my position requires. No more, no less. I know Amata understands that perfectly well. Happy birthday. Hello. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Oh, you has to bring me a present. Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am, rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go, a nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Attention, everyone. It's time to cut the cake. Andy, wait. Oh, no. Hey, happy birthday, Nosebleed. <laughs> I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> little brat. His voice, like, rings the ears, don't it? See, Miss Parts said I didn't have to share today since it's my birthday. How about we share it? Half of me, half for you. That's fair, right? Nah, that sounds kind of freaking goody two-shoes right there. You can have it. I don't even like sweet rolls. Sure, but... <laughs> Spit on it and give it to him. Go suck your head, butch. I'm not giving you my sweet roll. You do look hungry. What? Your mom drank all the rations coupons again? Oh no, I would not go <laughs> that way about his mom, though. She may be. She's nice enough. 
Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. I'd about to be sorry, you little simply mortified. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Uncle. No, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. What are you, what are you doing? Dork face? Hitting a girl and on her birthday, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> Did he hurt you, honey? Daddy, I told Come on, you not Molly. To act. I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? He tried to take my birthday present. Why, that little? <laughs> I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day he was born. <laughs> you let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. All, All right, Butch. I know you were joking, but I'm not sure hey, anyone else Officer did. Gomez. Nonsense. Nice party, People huh? always enjoy my business. Hey, how about those I've had it with you, Butch. Butch. Your mother's going to gonna hear about this. Who wants to go around all day? No. This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons. Party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Did you tell you it was my fault? Uh, uh, yeah, I heard it. It was a guy, sweetheart. You know, huh? Nice part. How do you like that there Pip Boy, miss? Fit all right and everything? It's really cool. Do you fix it up for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Thanks. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday. Not much, but I hope you like it. You should try it sometime, Dad. Oh, yeah, sweet roll. Okay, let's eat that. <laughs> okay, let's get the, first, get the kid's baseball cap yeah, on. You might like it. How may I serve you, mister? I am mortified about the cake mishap. What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. The jerk tried to steal my sweet roll. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well, you can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> Do you think you tried? Thanks for coming, Stanley. I know you were busy with the water purifier. Everything's fine. Maybe I hope the vault rats. Oh, sure. You guys Nothing like to that? worry about. Me and Andy got her all fixed up again one. last night. Good as Best new. yet. Don't you think we're I wasn't you worried. Have a nice time. Oh, it's Never anything, mind. right? Jonas? I can't believe my mom made me come to this stupid party. All set down here. Maybe Thanks. the vault rats. Thanks. Santa right down. You guys like that? How are you enjoying the party, Mr. Palmer? snakes and rats I help and with wizards. the decorations, you know. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Oh, oh never really? mind. They're I can't lovely. believe my mom made me come you to this such a party. Job. Hey, calm down. Sorry about okay, I'm waiting for the overseer to leave. Because I want to hear this little conversation time. here that he's going to have with one of the security guards. Happy ah. birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. Yeah, my dad and uh, Amanta, Amanda, threw a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Amanta, yeah, Amanta. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem just for you. I hope you like it. Thank you. I will treasure it always. Is that all? Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, I'm not going to be a bitch to you, girl. Hello, Officer Gomez. I'm glad you're here. overseer. I'm glad to be here. I think it's important to keep in touch with the young people. You know, as part of my job. Plus, well, I like parties. You guys are uh, sure thing, Officer Gomez. Oh, hey, ho. Nice chatting with you. Thanks again for coming. Since it seems like he doesn't like me very much, looks like, or liked something. I know he's a bastard. I was watching somebody's Let's Play of it, or like bits and pieces of it, and something, you get this special little thing here. Enjoy the party, sir? 
Bah! I only showed up because Amata's friends with the brat. Give them a few more minutes, and then I want that place cleaned up and everybody back to work. Sure thing, sir. What a dick. Thank is I'm not gonna kill him now. Okay, um, where's Jonas at again? He's down this way. So he's friends, she's friends with the brat. <laughs> what are you doing down here, young lady? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. <laughs> I'm not a kid, I'm 10 years old, man. <laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Okay, Dad, bring yourself over here. Are you ready for your surprise? Yeah, I don't like surprises. Okay. The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old. But it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, oh. what do you think? Want to give it a try? Yeah. We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Oh yeah, let's do this. It fits right on my back. Happy birthday, darling. I hope you have fun with it. Thanks a lot. This is really cool. Hey, you don't turn ten every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. <laughs> We've been waiting to shoot stuff. He's like, yeah, I can't wait. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. This is great, thanks. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Already did. All right. Ah. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Uh -huh. I did it. I did it, Dad. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Yeah. Yeah, I got Smile. my gun. <laughs> Six years later, dude. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old girl. So, yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. If you say so, Dad. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the GOAT. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Anything I need to know about the GOAT? The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We're born in the vault. We die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Sounds annoying. Do we have to die in the vault? Can we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the Overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. 
Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Bye, Dad. Take care, sweetie. Now get out of here. And good luck. What the hell happened to my hair? Pretty Gomez. It's getting worse. Most days he can't even get out of bed. When he does, he manages to manage to function. Freddy hides his insecurity and low self-esteem behind a behind a bully mask. Holy oh, crap! Head plane. I've been feeding him aspirin like it's candy, but around took him anything stronger. He blames the lighting in his headquarters in his quarters and though eye strain is currently compounding the problem, the headaches are actually a system system of overwork and lack of sleep. He really needs to be a dad to his girl. Well, he's being a douchebag to everybody that I'm knowing right now after following him around. The cells are still tension, thank God. <laughs> I just have one million. Oh, shit, what's going on here, Dad? What the heck you been doing? Where's my hair? My hair better be still be on her when she grows up. Morning, Jonas. Morning, Doc. Have you had a chance to look over these results? <coughs> I'm just going over them. I'd just like to keep an eye on them. No problem. I'll have my report ready this afternoon. Sounds good. Let me know if there are any changes. So, Stanley? <laughs> you better stay away. I don't want you to catch what I've got. Okay. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was about to attack him. Hi, Stanley. Ah, uh, how I get Sorry back to, to get what way, seems to be the trouble? Tunnel today. snakes. I've got this headache. That I can show you a real away. tunnel you snake, Amada. God, Butch, why don't you just leave me alone? That's the what are you gonna do, Butch? Amata. Let's go, go into the store and tell room, your daddy on us. I'll show you a good time. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? What's going on here, dude? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? If you keep messing with it, overseer's going to come down on your gang. Like I'm gonna listen to a little shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. Leave her alone or you answer to me. And who are you? Her girlfriend? Ha! Should've known. Keep talking like that, girl, and we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. That's it, Bush. You and me right now. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. Yes, I think I Bush, got a lot stop it. Here. Leave her alone. Oh, Get her, guys. A tough guy, huh? Hit her again. Stop it. I got another one just like that in my other hand. Come on, tunnel snake. Come on, bitch. Okay, okay. <laughs> you win. We'll leave the little girl alone. <laughs> You're not worth our time anyway. Come on, tunnel snakes. We're out of here. 
Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Hey, Susie, what's Fine. new? Let's go. Oh, not much. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Holy I'm crap, crazy. that makeup don't look good You're on you. Me. Didn't you just get new parts for it last week? Yeah, sure did. But the thing is so old, my grandpa... Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Shit, I'm ready. I'm bad at aces. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Get out of my face. Good it's to see you. Too. Of course, the hardest guy is the dumbest guy. Well, <laughs> everyone's managed to find a classroom. Finally, get started. No talking. No, and keep your eyes to yourselves. The, the hardest guy is the dumbest guy. Yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? The fuck? But cotton. <laughs> yeah, I'm yours, buddy. Okay, oh god. Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Hmm. Before the infection spreads, scream for help. The infection spreads to your abilities are straining the patient and mercifully observes the infection spread. <laughs> Um, scream for help. <laughs> hmm. It's, the, the last one's just so wrong. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Oh. Pick the boy's pocket to take the stolen property for yourself and lead him to his fate. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? <laughs> yeah, none. I wish I had a soccer team. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another Vault resident. What do you do? Holy crap, Grandma! Oh, ask for Granny for a mini, mini gun instead. After all, you don't want to miss. Oh, throw your tea in Granny's face. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Lock pick? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh. Walk away and let the old coop die, right? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Oh, a bullet to the brain. <laughs> Prayer, maybe God will spare you in exchange for a life of, what the heck? Um. Question eight. 
A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? <laughs> oh, steal? Like, hello? Sneak into the quarters and steal the book from his desk. There you go! Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Loosen the bolts on some pipes and the sink is turned on the restroom. Oh? Oh, that's so wrong. Okay, uh. Oh my god. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? This voice. He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. <laughs> this voice, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Oh, excuse me, guys. Okay, let me do the save real quick. A new save. I forgot how to get back into first person. I get the first person. Thank God that's over. Come on, let's go get some lunch. Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Yo, teach! I'm done! Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Allow me to savor the moment. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser! What a thug you you're so full of it. That isn't true. Oh, look at the way he does his hair. Yes. All finished? Apparently, you're management material. You're going to be trained as a shift supervisor. Could I be talking to the next overseer? Stranger things have happened. <laughs> Can't be right. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. And look where I ended up. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. The heck? Medicine? Come on. Reset. Okay, uh, sneak and then, um... Where's the small guns? Small guns, and then... Let's see. What should be the last one? Slazer pistols. I'm trying to figure out something. I don't want medicine. Medicine's already up, though. Thanks to that. So I can just let's do luck pick. I'm all done, Mr. Brach. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Yeah, hold up. I'm trying. I'm trying to get back to first person view. Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Bye. Hey there. 
Freddy, don't. It's multiple choice. You can't really still be thinking about it. Don't even think about Bye. it. <laughs> I'm trying to steal.